What's good guys? It's your boy Justin J coming to you with another car video. Let's cook boys, let's cook. All right, handsome men's game, right? How to deal with social anxiety, how to develop better social skills. Understand guys, this is going to be something that's going to become like a sport. Once you start opening your mouth and you say what you mean, and you mean what you say, and you get positive results from it, it's going to boost your confidence. You're gonna be able to have simple conversations in passing that seemed like it would have been a big deal before, all of a sudden it's not a big deal. I'm gonna tell you things that I did to get better with my social skills, and I'm gonna show you ways and tips and tricks and things that you can do to actually boost your vocabulary. People are always kind of in groups and cliques for the most part, but when your vocabulary is on point, you know, when that mouthpiece is on point, guys, you fit in damn near anywhere, guys. You're gonna be making other people feel unsure about themselves. Like, wait a minute, he knows that word, or wait a minute, this guy has so much charisma. I need to step my game up. All right, let's get into it movies you see an actor in particular that stands out that has a a way with their words guys you're going to want to study that actor study the way they move in the tv show there's going to be certain lines from the show or the movie that are going to stick with you go in the mirror say the line you know put yourself in the scene say the line i watch movies all the time where this is how i'm really good i know i'm good because i'll watch movies and I will finish what the actor is about to say as if like I had a part in writing the script. No, 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 no. It's just because I'm used to things like this rolling off of my tongue. You understand? So when you take that out into the real world, you know, people are going to look at you with some sort of like celebrity energy. Sometimes the way that you speak and the way that you articulate yourself in different situations. So let me give you an example. When I said you're going to be able to go up to women and approach them and just do stuff that you didn't know that you could do before. So at this one restaurant job I had, right, there was this redhead female and she was built like a brick house. You know what I mean? So I went up behind her and I first made, you know, I first made contact with her just to let her know, like, I see her, she sees me. So after that, I go up to her the second time, like I approach her, I go up to her and I say, hey, can I use your phone because my phone died? And she's like, oh yeah, sure, no problem. Now at this point, we've been giving each other the looks, but most guys won't do anything about it. You know, the choosing signals, most guys won't do anything about it. So I took her phone, called my phone, my phone started ringing, I took it out of my back pocket and I was like, all right, got it, it's saved. Have a good one. I turned around and I just walked away, guys. A little bit after that, I set the date, but the look on her face was like, she was super turned on because that does not happen a lot and get in the comment section i'm pretty sure guys have used that a lot but it does not happen a lot for you to be getting choosing signals from a woman you know you're giving them back at her like you're you're accepting them then you don't even take too long right after that you just go and approach her women are taken aback by that if you have that look if they're already into you and they like what they see so this is why i put this in handsome men's game you will miss a hundred percent of the shots that you do not take so a woman could be standing there giving you choosing signals which i tell you guys don't wait on choosing signals because it's a cop-out you know as men we are hunters you know we should be getting our energy reciprocated but Let's bring it back to our instincts and our nature and our biology. We are hunters. So when you go after the woman you want, guys, that vocabulary, the things that you say, the way that you say them will make a woman look at you and actually really want to give you a chance. So never squander your gift, guys. You have a voice and never let an opportunity go to waste, especially where it's an opportunity where it feels like it can go in your favor. Just go for it, trust and believe. This is another thing, when you know how to articulate yourself in a lot of different spaces around a lot of different people, you are going to shine. I'm telling you, you shine different when you stand out from the crowd, best believe. So never think that you talk a certain way and you know, this, this, this group of people doesn't like me for talking this way, even though you're just speaking the American, like English language. Understand this, do not let that get you down. Do not, because when you use your voice, and that mouthpiece and you can literally have people looking at you different so that's why i always say if you don't approach if you don't let people know what you're about sometimes how are they supposed to take any interest in you how are they supposed to take a liking to you guys when you use your voice you say what you mean you get in and out there's not all of this talking all day but when you do speak and or when you're offering somebody a glimpse into your brain because you have a beautiful mind guys always remember that it's not always about the looks the looks 
are just you got to thank your father and thank your mother. That's it. You know, your looks are what they are, but they're not the end all be all. You need to have a mouthpiece. You need to know. Guys, here's another thing. You need to know how to use your mouthpiece to even get you out of trouble, out of uh, dangerous situations. I remember one time I got pulled over by a cop and he was searching my car and he was given a little weird vibe. And he's like, do you think I'll find any burglary tools in the car? I said, I don't know, because I need a screwdriver in case something ever happens with my license plate. You know, I got a lighter in here in case like, anything needs to get lit. And I got a tire iron in case I need to change my tire. All three of these things can be considered burglary tools. Do you understand? And because I handled myself in such a way where I was cool, calm, and collected, do you know a taillight was out in the back? They let me go. He didn't even give me a ticket for it because of the way I handled myself. I didn't get all, why are you pulling me over? Da, da, da. It's because I'm black. And da, da, da. No, 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 no. Just let them handle their job. You know, oh, yep. I can send to the search, search the car, open the trunk. All right. All right. Am I good to go? Thank you. See, when you're doing the right things, you get the right results, guys. You have to understand it's in any part of life. You're going to need to use your words to articulate yourself because what do cops like to do? You know, as soon as a, a person of color goes, oh, any little, they're like, you know, they're ready. They're ready, guys. You have to never give someone a reason. You have to laugh in their face as you're doing it because and here's the thing. It's eating at them, too, to know that, you know, your worth and that you're intelligent, that, you know, your way around a scenario, a situation. It pisses people off. This is another part. Women are going to know when they can't get over on you based on your vocabulary, how you articulate yourself. See, there's a difference between being a nice guy, a gentleman and a good guy. There's a difference between all of it, but it's tonality, the way you talk, the way you stand on what you say. I'm telling you right now, people could think I'm lying like, oh, no, 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 no. A nice guy and a gentleman or a simp. It's the same thing. No, it's a lot of it is about how you come across in these situations. There's nothing wrong with being a gentleman. There is something being wrong with a nice guy because you're trying too hard. But a gentleman, there's nothing wrong with that. You actually know how to handle yourself and conduct yourself as a proper man and not gentleman from what from a woman's standpoint, a gentleman from what you think a gentleman is, you know, a mensch, you know, that's what you want to be aiming for, too, in social settings, you know. But here's another part, guys, when you're very quiet, this goes back to the other handsome men's game video, shy and introverted or well, quiet and introverted. It's not a bad thing with women because a woman is going to come up to you and be like, hey, you should talk more. Or, hey, why don't I ever hear you talking? Or, hey, what do you think? You're too good for everybody. And then this is the part where you can let her know just when you open your mouth, your tone out, the tone of your voice has to be comforting has to be assertive and dominant it doesn't matter if you don't like the sound of your own voice guys i didn't like the sound of my own voice for the longest time it used to hold me back from a lot of situations to be honest i used to be a guy to wait on choosing signals a lot when i used to be a guy to get a lot of women but not keep a lot of women it was basically because women would let me know what time it was and i was able to always just be like okay i'm with it Actually, that's kind of not true because I did used to make approaches, but it was when I got good with my words when I was younger. But see, that's when I was kind of on the lean side. When I was gaining more weight, that's when I was um, relying on like Instagram DMs and stuff because I wasn't confident with my looks. So I wasn't out here being all social, going up to women, you know, but I remember when I was the leanest I've ever been before practicing the body game. Like when I, I told you guys, I used to go to so many parties and I noticed in these scenarios that I my confidence grew because I was actually using my words. Like I told you, we used to go to college parties. Girls would come up to us, kiss us. Me and my boys would rush. We would see girls on the bench and be like, yo, I bet y'all get there first and start running. And then we get there first to girls like different things like that. But it wasn't until I got good with my mouthpiece and my confidence. But see, it all went out the window once I started gaining weight. You know, that's what I'm saying. It's always going to be your looks. Your looks are just what they are. It helps you. It gets your foot in the door. But then comes your mouthpiece. You're going to need to know how to articulate yourself in a way where people feel comfortable going back and forth with you, but never too much with like women, never too much, but you're going to need to build relationships and connections with other people. It's called networking guys. So know that if somebody, and here's another thing, other men that aren't goofy as hell 
that actually respect one another are going to come up to you a lot. And especially if you have results that show for your life, if it's your physique, if it's the way you carry yourself, it's your, uh, your confidence level. Like guys, a lot of people can see this out in public. You're going to have other like-minded men come up to you, want to give you a pound, want to, you know, converse a little bit or ask you things like, Hey bro, do you train? Oh, bro, do you, do you train Muay Thai, kickboxing or anything like that? Do you play football? Do you play basketball? Do you play this? They're going to come up to you and ask questions like that. And you're going to see right then and there. Holy shit. I can make friends. Holy shit. Other people see me for me. And, and it's funny because those people who see you for you, you're going to instantly look back at them and see them for them. I remember the last time it happened at my other job. It was a guy who was a Marine, like six foot three jack swole dude and he's just like talking to me like yo you train bro like da, 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 like starting small talk guys we every time we pass each other after that we give each other a fist bump and now it's like what's up bro like we respect each other do you understand so you can make friends by articulating yourself by knowing how to articulate yourself not being too nervous in a situation and just meaning what you say and say what you mean and don't take it too serious guys have fun with it always remember that it goes back to when you're watching a movie you can take a line out of a movie to help you if you need to stand in front of the mirror and practice saying things that's another part of it guys dictionary start if you hear words if you hear other people using words and you don't know what that word means look it up see that's another habit that i picked up whenever i hear i don't care if it's in person or in a video i'm listening to a certain content creator if i hear a word that i've never heard before i'll write it down in my notes and then i will look it up and then I will try to use it in a, or it'll be right there, the example in a sentence. And I will copy and paste that and then try to like apply it to how I use my words. And it always works. It always works. But you actually have to know what the word means. You understand? Get a good understanding of the word. And then you're going to be able to start implementing it into your, your structure, like of how you talk, of the way you say things, trust and believe, and then just try it out in public just a couple times to get used to it and then it'll just become like another word that you're used to using on a daily basis so always remember that guys if you're handsome and select you will miss out on a lot of opportunities from simply just psyching yourself out from having social anxiety because guys when you step in a space you know nine times out of ten i'm gonna keep it real a lot of dudes think that they're handsome a lot of guys think that they have this you know this major aura but you know, nine times out of 10, when you go out in public, yes, people are going to be paying a lot of attention to you. But at the same time, don't let this shit get to your head. People ain't worried about you at all, too. <laughs> like, you know, so never think, uh, you know, I'm catching all this attention from women and blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. You can step into a spot after the initial look or, you know, people are whispering or whatever. Everybody just goes on about their day. You know, don't don't let this handsome men's game thing get to your head and think that I don't need to work on my social skills. I don't need to work on my mouthpiece. I'm fine just the way I am. I can wait on choosing signals and women will just come and tell me what they want to do. That's not the way things go. And we're not trying to be delusional out here. Your good looks play a part. Yes, they get your foot in the door, but that's just a bait. Just like the body game is the bait. But remember, guys, you need to have a mouthpiece and it's not for women. It's for job opportunities. You know, it's for people to take you serious. It's for people to see you in a different light. You know, if somebody has a preconceived notion about you, it's to prove them wrong. Always remember that. Because people are going to treat you how you teach them. And it's a big major component in how they treat you. Like it's a, it's your vocabulary, the way you handle yourself, the way you carry yourself. You know, this is just another part of your game. Always remember that you got your looks. Your looks are going to get you in the door. The body game, the body game is going to get you in the door. You know, your vocabulary. That's going to get you in the door. The game is about you. This stuff is important and conducive to your life. It's the way you can make somebody get comfortable. It's the way you can make someone actually believe what you're saying and want to take you serious. It's your boy, Justin J. Get with your boys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's go, boys. Let's go.